A very important trick for not getting banned while doing a broadcast. A lot of times businesses forget to hyper personalize the messages or to add a stop button due to which a lot of users are not able to understand or relate to the message that they receive. At times even some businesses do a broadcast without even uploading their logo or other business details that creates more problems while users who receive these messages are not able to understand whether a genuine business is sending the message or a fake spammer or scammer to ensure that you don't get blocked do note that you have your logo always there before sending a broadcast along with other business information the second tip is to put relatable variables like your customer's name so that the customer can relate that this message is directly for you also scheduling your broadcast to wish your customers on their anniversary or birthdays do ensure that future promotional messages are not rejected by your customers and finally it is absolutely important to have clear cta buttons like we have provided interested buttons or callback button but most importantly it is important to give the stop button because with the stop button the double tick stop bot will get automatically activated and the customer then would not click on the block button provided by meta to block your api number as you can see by clicking on the stop button the auto message that was set on the stop bot has automatically opted the customer out along with the confirmation now with this tips and tricks we hope that you would have an immense and great journey in successful broadcasting to large number of customers and drive roi thanks a lot for watching this video and stay tuned for the remaining parts